Keep it going for Hilton. Shouldn't have wore a coat, fat ass. So how's everybody doing tonight? There we go, there we go. So July 4th is tomorrow. America. 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 <laughs> Not even surprised that's the response I got at all. No. Um, had a cookout buddy of mine decided to celebrate early because it's probably supposed to rain tomorrow, which I hope it doesn't. But he decided to bring out his new propane gas grill and grilled a bunch of sausages and stuff. And it was, it was pretty, pretty good meal. Um, he had Cheddarworth sausage, which I haven't had in a long time. For those that don't know, Cheddarworth has got the, uh, the cheese in it. And he was sitting across from me with his wife, and I guess his wife has a robot bite that I'm not aware of, because as she bit into her Cheddarworth, every bit of cheese that was in that fucking sausage flew across the table and got me right in the face. <laughs> got me in the eye. So ladies, I get it. But shit stings. <laughs> I almost had to wear a patch earlier. So. But it didn't get my hair, so we're still friends. So that's cool. So, <laughs> so wrong. Um, so I, uh, I had to take my oldest daughter. She's, she actually is going over to England and Paris, France for the rest of the summer for some ambassador program. Um, just, I don't have to put up with her, so that was good enough for me. But, uh, that's not true. I, actually, as she was getting on the plane before she went to security, I was like, hey, you know, I, we haven't got to hang out in a while. When you get back, um, come over and hang out with me and the girlfriend. Uh, we have a trampoline where I live. My 12-year-old daughter looks at me. She was like, oh, you have a trampoline where you live? That's nice. We have a house where we live. <laughs> Don't come back, you little shit. <laughs> so before, uh, before she left, she wanted to have an American meal, and she chose uh, Carl's Jr., and they have the most disturbing thing on their menu now. The most American burger. Have you guys seen that shit? Hot dogs and potato chips on a fucking cheeseburger. <laughs> it's like, really? We did that when we were poor growing up. I, was, I had many a mayonnaise and potato chip sandwich and that's because it was in America. Because that's all we had because of America. Woo! There you go. But I just looked at it, and she ordered it, and I was like, my God. And the whole time she's taking a bite, I'm like, for people like me, if we ordered that burger, every time we bite into it, freedom is literally killing us. <laughs> so anybody watch the World Cup, the Women's World Cup? It's, there you go. Um, yeah, they're in the, the women are in the finals. I, uh, I'll be honest with you, I really don't give a shit anymore. Uh, if I really wanted to pay attention to soccer, then when I had the weekends I have custody of the kids, I'd actually watch those games. But uh, I heard some groans. That's the line, I guess. Don't cross that line. I, uh, I, this is a public service announcement to all the guys, so, so please listen. We have got to stop sending unsolicited dick pictures to the ladies. Let me explain why first. I'm sure some of you guys out there have cats. Um, have you ever went outside in the morning in the back porch and you, you looked at the back porch and you realized sometime during the night your cat had just left a dead bird or a squirrel and it's nasty and disgusting but the cat's looking up at you like, look what I did. I did that for you. That's, that's what it's like for these women when they open up these emails and messages and there's pictures of your dick that they didn't ask for. It's disgusting, ugly, smelly in some cases. But the women don't realize that it's a gift from the heart. <laughs> and the main, the main reason why we gotta stop doing it is this. What they're gonna start doing now, and I've seen all these posts by women on Face Squat, Facebook, Twitter, Twatter, all of them, is because they're gonna start sending pictures of dicks back to us that we didn't ask for. For every pick we send out, they're gonna send one back that's meaner and angrier and vainier. <laughs> the way it's gonna work basically is if a picture of a wing is gonna go out, 
and a picture of a wing is going to come back. They're calling it a boomer wing. <laughs> that was a long journey for that punchline, so I appreciate you guys. I'm going to leave you all on this real quick. I um, was watching some porn recently, believe it or not. Uh, I was watching some porn. I hadn't watched it in a long time because I was actually in a healthy relationship. Um, bullshit. But I was watching some porn, and it freaked me out. I hadn't watched it in a long time, and all these people were shaved in places that I wasn't used to seeing people shaved on video. And the whole time, I'm thinking to myself, are they doing it for aerodynamics sake? Are they doing it because they have the mange? What the hell's going on? So I couldn't focus on my problem at hand. And so I got a VCR and uh, popped the tape in of stuff that I grew up watching, and it wasn't any better. Because back then, nobody shaved in the 80s and 90s anywhere. It was like everybody's crotches had joined Al-Qaeda and went into hiding. <laughs> Better burn that image in your head. Imagine watching a close-up of the entire cast of Duck Dynasty eat hot dogs really slow. <laughs> you guys have been an awesome crowd. My name's Billy Bazaar. <laughs>